Hey guys, and thank you so much for joining me as we talk some movie news on the channel. So, we have a huge announcement. It looks like the Fantastic Four casting has now been revealed. We have a great new picture of the cast assembled in a 60s kind of aesthetic, as you can see here in this image. And we also have a first poster for the movie. So, without further ado, let's jump straight in and let's find out what's going on with this movie. So, Marvel Studios officially announces cast for the Fantastic Four with first poster and a new logo. So, Marvel Studios has last unveiled its main cast for its highly anticipated Fantastic Four reboot, marking a significant milestone in the making of this long-awaited film. It's been a very, very long time coming. It seems like this movie's taken forever to get here, but um, we've definitely been waiting with um, bated breath, if you like. So, accompanying this exciting announcement, our striking poster art, and a fresh title treatment igniting further anticipation among fans and the setting the stage for what promises to be an epic cinematic adventure yeah when you know when it comes to the fantastic four they've had a bit of a rocky past with the franchise to say the least obviously with the older remake um with the older fantastic four movie sorry and um you know with the later incarnations as well with the michael b jordan um version of the movie both of them weren't so well received by the fans and, you know, as fans of the MCU, we've been waiting for them to do justice for the Fantastic Four on screen for a long time coming. And, you know, recently we got all those rumors about Pedro Pascal being Mr. Fantastic and uh, Vanessa Kirby being Invisible Woman. And it looks like they were confirmed. So it's great to hear that they're in there. Pedro Pascal, he's great in anything that he's in. And um, can't wait to see what they do with this movie. So Marvel Studios has chosen Valentine's Day to unveil the long-awaited casting announcement for the Fantastic Four reboot, now officially titled The Fantastic Four. Uh, confirming rumors that have circulated for some time, the main heroes will be betrayed by, so Pedro Pascal as Mr. Fantastic, that's been rumored for a very, very long time. Vanessa Kirby is a name that's popped up a lot as well for The Invisible Woman. Joseph Quinn, The Human Torch, I've never heard of Joseph Quinn. And Eben Moss Bacharach for The Thing. So yeah, we kind of got three out of the four there. I hadn't heard of Joseph Quinn for The Human Torch, but Vanessa Kirby was a name that was kind of being thrown around at the top of the pile when it came to The Invisible Woman. Petra Pascal was a foregone conclusion over the last month or so. And Eben Moss Bacharach, that's a name again that kept coming to the forefront when we were talking about The Thing. So accompanying the announcement is a poster teasing the characters and costume designs, including the presence of Herbie the robot, the artwork suggests a period setting, possibly in the 60s. That was a massive rumor also that was going around, you know, you know, a few months ago, that it was going to be a period piece set in the 60s. And I think that's really, really cool. It, you know, it separates itself from the earlier incarnations that we've had of the Fantastic Four on the big screen. And I think it could be fun. They could do a campy kind of funny sitcom, almost kind of 60s vibe to this movie. And I think that would be really, really fun. So in addition to the casting reveal, Marvel have, adjusted, uh, Marvel have adjusted the release date of the Fantastic Four from May 5th, 2025 to July 25th, 2025. So it looks like they've bumped it a couple of months, but, you know, we've already waited years for this movie. So, you know, a couple more months isn't going to kill anybody. Adding to the anticipation surrounding this highly anticipated reboot. So this is where we get into the good stuff here, guys. So from Marvel Studios on their Twitter, uh, on their X page, sorry, or Twitter, whichever you call it. So, Marvel Studios, The Fantastic Four arrives in theatres July 25th, 2025. So, it doesn't give us a whole lot, but we have this kind of... It almost reminds me of, like, the Fallout games, that kind of um, 50s, 60 kind of retro, um, you know, that kind of retro-inspired kind of look. Um, it's just got this kind of um, sort of, I don't know what you call it, like, marble background. And then we've got this kind of, um, kind of futuristic retro almost... Um, you know, kind of font, and uh, it doesn't really give us much away. But as I say, it definitely um, gives me kind of Fallout vibes, that kind of tone, that retro sheet, retro sheet kind of uh, aesthetic. You know, so but that's really really cool. Other than that, there's not much else to say. We've just got the kind of the title of the uh, of the movie, obviously. So let's go down and check out this um, cast picture, which is really really cool. So from Marvel Studios, Happy Valentine's Day from Marvel's first family: Pedro Pascal, Vanessa uh, Vanessa Kirby. Eben uh, Moss Bacharach, I hope I'm saying that right, and Joseph Quinn are the Fantastic Four. So Marvel Studios, Fantastic Four Theatres, July 25th, 2025, which we've already seen. And we've got this awesome cast picture here. I kind of like what they've done. They've almost kind of cropped their heads onto this kind of image here. 
And this, um, you know, it's kind of like an artist rendering of the, the cast here. I think it's a really fun and creative way to put this movie out. And I think it's going to give us a tone or an insight as to what we're going to see from this movie. And uh, as I say, we've got Herbie the robot down at the front, which is really kind of cool. Again, it gives me those kind of Fallout vibes, um, you know, with the robot and the kind of the 60s aesthetic. I love the kind of artwork and the style they've gone for. It's definitely more creative than just kind of putting out a bland kind of cast picture. But I really, really like this. It's great. And um, like I say, the three out of the four kind of cast, I think were kind of... Um, already guessed or kind of um a foregone conclusion in a lot of people's minds but um you know the guy who's playing the um human torch i forget what his name is uh joseph quinn i hadn't heard that name being batted around maybe it had but i i may have missed it but um it's not a name that i heard of but vanessa kirby pedro pascal and evan back uh evan Bacharach, they were names that i heard a lot recently over the last few months but it's really really cool i love this image guys jump into the comment section let me know what you think about this and uh, what kind of vibes and what kind of insights do you get from this image? And do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know what you think. So, director Matt Shackman is set to helm the Fantastic Four. Reboot with plot details shrouded in mystery. Marvel Studios president, uh, president Kevin Feige has assured fans that this iteration will not be uh, a retread of familiar ground with yet another origin story from the beloved super team. Thank God for that. <laughs> you know, we can only go back to the well so many times. They've already tried it. It doesn't work. So let's go on that, you know, we could do a year one or a year two of the team. You know, they're already established. They're already fighting crime. Let's see, you know, um, you know, where they are along in their superhero kind of career. Um, you know, how have they fared so far? You know, what's happened? They could do flashbacks as to how they began or, you know, earlier parts of their team up. And then we could flash forward to year one, year two, like I say, and uh, see where they are on their journey. And if something different separates itself from the earlier uh, movies. So in 2022 interview, uh, Feige expressed the studio's commitment to delivering a fresh take on the iconic heroes, akin to the groundbreaking collaboration that brought Spider-Man into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. He emphasizes the challenge of reinventing well-known narratives, aiming to exceed expectations and set a new standard for storytelling. Yeah, when these characters have been around for so long, um, there's a certain expectation and there's certain narratives that fans have come used to when it comes to these characters. So trying to... Um, sort of maintain that source material, trying to maintain the core aspect of the characters, but also trying to kind of reinvent them for the modern age and kind of introduce new story elements at the same time. Um, you want to keep old fans happy, but you want to, you know, bring on board a new generation as well for the Fantastic Four. So it's kind of treading that fine line between, you know, the old and the new and kind of trying to keep everybody happy, which has got to be a really difficult job, but I'm sure Kevin Feige can do it. He's done a lot more difficult things in the past. So regarding the cast of characters, rumors are swelling about potential actors for the role of Doctor Doom. With uh, Killian Murphy and Mads Mikkelsen along the top, Mads Mikkelsen would be absolutely incredible in that role among the top contenders. However, other actors are also expected to be considered for the part. Mate, Doctor Doom. I can't wait for Doctor Doom. It's one of the, my most anticipated characters moving forward. Like, I couldn't care less about Kang. Um, you know, and all this kind of stuff. But Dr. Doom, man, I really, really hope he's not a one and done character. I hope they build a massive narrative around him like they did with Thanos. He's such an intricate kind of part of the Marvel Universe. And um, he really, really deserves to be done justice. And I hope they do something good with him. So while Dr. Doom may not play a major role in the reboot, Speculation suggests he could become a significant villain in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I really do hope so. I hope that if he's not in the movie, he's in like the after credit scene or there's some sort of big Easter egg that points towards him but doesn't directly show him. Uh, particularly following the departure of Kang actor Jonathan Majors, sources indicate that Doom is slated to be one of the uh, one of the primary antagonists in Avengers Secret Wars. Yeah, that's all over the rumor mill at the moment that he's going to be the big bad when it comes to um, when it comes to Secret Wars. Time will only tell. You never know what Disney have up their sleeve. They could change things around between now and when they start shooting. There's so much up in the air at the moment. Whether they're going to keep Kang but recast him or whether they're going to switch to Doc Doom, nobody kind of knows what's going on with that, so we'll have to wait and see. So as for the cosmic threats, uh, Javier Bardem is reportedly leading the choice to play uh, portray Galactus. Galactus, man, that's going to be a hard character to do. Like a god threat level, like a gigantic kind of... Um, well, Galactus, who kind of like eats planets and stuff. Like, how do you do that like on screen and have people understand what it is that they're looking at? It's kind of difficult to kind of get that artistic kind of um, scope into a movie and have it make sense. Um, so that's kind of a big challenge ahead of them. 
Although scheduling conflicts may hinder his involvement, additionally, the Herald of Galactus is rumored to be a female Silver Surfer. Yeah, I made a video. I made a video on that. Wow, that must have been like three or four months ago now. Um, that news came out about a female Silver Surfer. Everyone went crazy about it because of the gender swapping. People went nuts. <laughs> With Anya Taylor Joy allegedly in uh, consideration for the role. You know, um, I don't really care if it's male, or female. At the end of the day, to me, the Silver Surfer is a cosmic being. Doesn't really, I don't really assist, associate that role with the gender, to be honest. Um, so female, male, I don't really care. Normally, like gender swapping kind of annoys me, but um, at that point, as I say, because it's a cosmic being, like the sex or gender doesn't, you know, I don't think it plays any role in the character to me. So um, it's amid, amid these uh, speculations and casting rumors. One thing that remains certain, Marvel Studios is gearing up to deliver a Fantastic Four film, unlike anything audiences have seen before, that's exactly what we need. We need fresh content when it comes to Fantastic Four, something we haven't seen, something to bring the old and the new together, and um, we want a new generation of people being excited about these characters. So raising anticipation and excitement for the next chapter in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah, so, you know, we've got a lot of exciting stuff coming up with the MCU. You know, they've been on a bit of, you know, they've been on a bit of a decline recently with their kind of me mediocre content. But we've got a lot to look forward to. We've got this Deadpool movie coming out that's going to introduce mutants into the MCU and Deadpool. And it's going to be an R-rated MCU movie, which we haven't seen before. And, um... You know, also, so we got the mutants, we got the X Men, we've got the Fantastic Four coming in. So there's a lot in flux when it comes to the MCU. And, um, you know, they've talked about not putting out so much content, keeping the quality higher, but not putting out as much content. So there's a lot of stuff going on with the MCU, which is really, really exciting going into the future. So we'll have to see how that goes. Secret Wars as well, Doctor Doom, X Men, mutants. We've got a lot of stuff coming. And um, I'm definitely excited to see where they go with it. But let's hope they can do it justice. Get away from the mediocrity that they've been putting out over the last few years. Go back to the earlier phases of the MCU when, you know, it was firing on all cylinders. But guys, jump into the comment section. Let me know what you think about this. What do you think about this picture? What do you think about the new logo they put out? And um, are you excited for Fantastic Four? Or do you not really care about Marvel anymore? Can't wait to hear what you have to say. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you soon.